Hi, Mr. Summer. Summer. Um, I just wanted to ask, whose side are you on when it comes to the climate crisis? Because um, currently it seems like you're siding with the UK government. Currently it seems like you think that young people like me, who are so, so terrified about the future, deserve to go to prison. And if I can just like be real with you for a second, I, like, I'm, a, I'm a climate campaigner, obviously. And I am currently experiencing stress-induced hair loss because I'm so worried about the climate crisis. When I people like right you in position, sorry, can I just finish sure. my point really quickly? Um, when so, I am I am actually in such a state of stress constantly because currently we are on a trajectory for 3.2 degrees of warming by the end of the century. That means total extinction by the end of the century. And you are just simply not doing enough to safeguard my future. You're not taking it seriously. And I don't think there's anything that you can say right now no, that will make me believe fair. that. When it come, um, firstly, I agree with you. The climate crisis is, is, is the sort of number one priority. Then why That's do you absolutely. think that people like me deserve to go to prison? You said that the UK very, government very should, should use a UK-wide injunction That's, on protesters. I don't know whether you saw what we were saying at conference about climate crisis, about the need to take action now. That action's got to be taken in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and we've made a huge investment of uh, 28 billion pounds a year on climate investment pledge. But can you transition. can you see that we are literally like the the IPCC released a report last week that said that we are on a trajectory that, for 3.2 degrees of warming by the end of the taken. century. Yeah, I, My future doesn't currently exist. You need to make it exist for me. That is your responsibility as a as a person in that, a position of power. And you're not. But it's not enough. Well, that's the trajectory. Yeah, thank you. You have a responsibility to safeguard my future, Mr. Sormer, and I'm scared and you're not currently doing that for me. Please do more. This comes from a place of compassion and fear. I don't want my future to be taken away from me. It's not fair.